Hai Ben. Hai Ben, good evening. Hello. How are you? You're okay? Yeah, great. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so today, you remember yesterday, we did not uh, finish Unit 6A, right? We're not yet done with Unit 6A. So let us have Unit 6A. Eight. So we are done with this, Ben. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot that I need to uh, send this to you tonight. I will send all these words. So we have here the adjectives that this is the last. Okay. So here, Ben. So for task one. Okay. So let us lesson. Oh, are we done with this? You skip this because you cannot understand well, right? You skip this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the phrases of the good quality. Okay, so this one, you are done. You are trying to give the qualities they need for the jobs in the photos, in your opinion. This one done. I guess this is the last, right? Right, Ben? Uh, We're not done uh, with this. Next, 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 again, next. These are all transcript, Ben. We're not done with this. No, we done. We done this. Okay, so this one. So recycle of comparison. Okay. So we have here the key forms. Candor, the candiest, more practical, most practical. So this is Candier, that is, okay, the positive comparative form and candiest, that superlative form. So less sociable, least sociable, as intelligent as. We use double comparative to say that something is changing, like you're getting more and more impatient. So you can use this if you say, something is changing you're getting more and more annoyed you're getting more and more impatient so we do this we do or we double the comparative like more and more when we try to say something is changing we use the blank the and comparative to say that one thing changes with another the more arrogant you are the less popular you will be okay so if you're more arrogant you will be less popular because you're arrogant okay to so say that one thing changes with another okay the more arrogant it becomes uh what do you call that one it becomes reverse or it becomes negative when you say the more arrogant you are the less popular you will be of course you are arrogant enough you don't have friends so you will not be popular. Okay. So here. Now, Ben, completing the sentences with the correct form of the adjective in the bracket. So this, we have adjective. All of this in the bracket, sympathetic, useful, long, etc. here. So they are all adjectives. Okay. So you have, have 
to complete the sentence with the correct form of adjective in the bracket. What do you think is the correct form? Okay, so for dialogue one, one, two, three, dialogue two, four, and five, dialogue three, six, and seven. Okay, ready, Ben? Dialogue one. Lesson 6A, exercises 5 and 6. 1. I think you need to be really sympathetic. The more sympathetic you are, the better you'll be at the job. Yes, I agree. Sympathetic and caring, because you're looking after very vulnerable people. I think you also need to be quite idealistic. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I don't think idealism is as useful as patience. And you need to show lots of initiative. True. And these days they have to work longer and longer hours, so you need to be very hard working too. Absolutely. Now I can again. Lesson 6A. Exercises 5 and 6. 1. I think you need to be really sympathetic. The more sympathetic you are, the better you'll be at the job. Yes, I agree. Sympathetic and caring, because you're looking after very vulnerable people. I think you also need to be quite idealistic. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I don't think idealism is as useful as patience. And you need to show lots of initiative. True. And these days they have to work longer and longer hours, so you need to be very hard working too. Absolutely. Wait, me, Ben. Okay, please answer, Ben. I mean, it's Ben. Okay. Okay, more? Number two? Or one more? You want to lesson one more? Last one? Lesson 6A, exercises 5 and 6. 1. I think you need to be really sympathetic. The more sympathetic you are, the better you'll be at the job. Yes, I agree. Sympathetic and caring, because you're looking after very vulnerable people. I think you also need to be quite idealistic. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I don't think idealism is as useful as patience, mm. and you need to show lots of initiative. True. And these days they have to work longer and longer hours, so you need to be very hard working too. Absolutely. Okay, Ben, number two, I will move number two. Two. There are lots of qualities you need for this job, but I think that the most important quality is punctuality. Punctuality? Really? Yes. Ben, I will just go to you the can't tell people okay. off for being late if you're never on time yourself. I suppose so. And you need a good sense of humour. You'll certainly be more popular if you can laugh at things. Plus intelligence, of course. I agree. And you need to be good at communicating. 
Yes, the ability to communicate is absolutely vital. You need to be really good at explaining things. Okay. Oh, Ben. Uh, <laughs> can I card? Card. Two. There are lots of qualities you need for this job, but I think that the most important quality is punctuality. Punctuality? Really? Yes. You can't tell people off for being late if you're never on time yourself. I suppose so. And you need a good sense of humour. You'll certainly be more popular if you can laugh at things. Plus intelligence, of course. I agree. And you need to be good at communicating. Yes, the ability to communicate is absolutely vital. You need to be really good at explaining things. Uh, next. A3? Ben 3? Yeah. Three. I'd hate to have this job. Really? I think it would be quite rewarding. But very stressful. <laughs> Maybe. Excuse me, Ben. You need to be patient. I'll go to the bathroom. I think patience is less important than physical courage. Yes, you certainly need physical courage. You might get into some quite dangerous situations. And you need to be physically fit. So, patience, physical courage and fitness. Which do you think is the most useful quality of the three? Physical courage. But the ability to communicate is probably even more important. It's better to solve problems with words rather than force. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let us check your answer. Okay, number one. Okay, more sympathetic. Very good, Ben. You are the Okay, better. 
I don't think idealism is more is as useful as patience. These days they have to work, <clears throat> correct, Ben? Longer and longer hours. Okay. So I think that the most important quality is punctuality. Okay. You are certainly be more popular. Very good, Ben. I think patience is less important than physical courage. Which do you think is the most useful quality of the three? Most useful. Okay. Because we use the word most useful because it's three. We are talking three, not two. Okay, Ben? Yes. Okay, you understand. Okay, very good. So we call this band as the phrasal verb. So what is phrasal verb? Actually, phrasal verb band is not a sentence. It does not have subject and it does not have predicate. So I call Jen how she was. Okay, call, it means telephone. They called off the meeting. It means call off, it means cancel. So look at the difference when you see call. Okay, with me, Ben. Okay, call it means in the first sentence, it means call, telephone. When you say call off, it means to cancel, to cancel. It means call off. Cancel. I will call off the meeting. It means I will cancel. Okay? You understand? So in terms of yeah. order word, there are two main types of phrasal verb. Separable and inseparable. Okay? So phrasal verbs are very common in English, especially in more informal. Because when you say formal, we use sentence. Sentence has subject and predicate. But when you say phrasal verb, it doesn't have. So, they are made up of verb and a particle or sometimes two particles. Okay. So, I call Jen. Okay. So, here. So, with separable, so what are the two kinds of phrasal verb? Separable and, and inseparable. Okay. With separable phrasal verbs, the verbs and particle can be part or together. Okay. Like, They've called the meeting off or they've called off the meeting. So we can use any of this. Any of this. However, separ separable phrasal verb must be separated when you use pronoun. It must be separated when you use pronoun. Like the meeting, they've called it off. So when there is pronoun like it, so what happened to the Phrasal verb, it is separated. Okay, so it's separated. Okay, because there is pronoun. We cannot say the called of it. It's wrong. So they have called it off. Okay, next. Here are some common separable phrasal verbs. Separable, it means can be separated. We can separate. You understand, Ben? You understand? Yeah. Okay. So, these are some common. I didn't want to bring the situation up at the meeting. So, actually, the separable, the facial verb is bring up. It means start talking about a particular subject. You bring, up the, you bring up the topic. So, it means you will gonna have to start talking about that topic. Bring up. So, here we can use this in separable. Next. Yes, Ben. Next. Please, can you fill this form in? So we can use this fill in. But here, we use this fill this form in because we have the pronoun this. Okay. Fill in, it means actually the phrasal verb fill in. It means writing information in a form of document. You will write. If there's a blank, you will gonna write. Okay. That is fill in in okay next i'll pick you up pick 
up. Okay, again, teacher, why it is separated? Because of this pronoun. This pronoun. Okay, so I pick you up from the station at 8 p.m. Pick up, it means collect someone in a car. So I'm gonna pick you up. You're gonna ride in my car. Okay, you understand this word, Ben? You understand? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. Next. She turned the job down. Turn down. Okay. Turn down the job. It means turn down. You will not accept it. Like he will say. Like he will say. Oh, I will turn down the offer. So I will not accept the offer. I will say no to the offer. You understand? Bring up. Yeah. Fill in. Okay. Pick up. Turn down. Okay, so these are the four separable phrasal verbs. So it means separable. We can separate again the phrasal verb if we can see pronoun. You understand, Ben? Yeah. Okay, I know because you're a smart boy. Okay. Ben, what's the weather in Vietnam tonight? I mean in the afternoon. It's normal, not sunny not raining oh in the philippines it's very very hot ben even uh up until night time it's night time it's still very hot okay some phrasal verbs cannot be separated so there are phrasal verbs that cannot be separated await me ben Okay, so non-separable, it means some phrasal verbs cannot be separated. Who looks after the baby when you're at work? Looks after. So even when there is a pronoun like who, the verb and particle remain together. So it means you cannot, you cannot separate. Looks after. You cannot say looks the baby after you cannot separate that who looks after when you're at work here are some common non-separable phrasal verb these are the phrasal verb that we cannot separate i came across oh sorry where is it i came across your email when i was clearing my inbox the caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly. Okay. The caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly. Okay. Turned into. So it means become. It becomes butterfly. Okay. It was quite major operation. It took months to get over it and feel normal again. Okay. Get over. It means you can recover. Oh, I already get over. From what my friend did to me. Okay, I move on. Okay. okay. I get over. Okay, next one. So, it was quite a major operation. It took months to get over. We are aware of the problem and we are looking into it. Look into, it means investigate. You try to spy, you try to check, you try to investigate. Okay? So these are the different meaning. Came across to find something by a chance. Turn into, it means become. You turn into a beautiful clown. Okay. okay. Next is get over. It means... Recover from something. Look into, you will gonna investigate. Okay. So here, with two pairs, two particles. Okay, two particles. Phrasal verb with two particles are also inseparable. So cannot be separated. Even if you use pronoun, you put it after the particle. 
who came up with that idea? Came up with means think. Who came up with? It means who think of an idea or the plan. Okay. So next one. Okay, two. Let's get rid of. Get rid of, it means remove. Okay. You will have to remove that something. Oh, teacher, it's so awkward. You have to remove that one. It's get rid of. Get on with, like and be friendly towards someone. Oh, I didn't really get on with, with my stepbrother when I was teenagers. It means you are not friendly with your brother. Okay. Can you hear that noise all the time? I don't know how you put up with. Put up with, it means tolerate something difficult or annoying. Like, why? You didn't even put up with that thing. It means you tolerate that. You did not say no. You always say yes. Put up with, it means you always give favor. You tolerate. You always say yes. Okay. Looking forward to, it means you are excited. You will be happy that someone is coming. So you look forward to. Okay, so here, circle the correct words to complete the box. Circle the correct words to complete the box. Okay, that one. Okay. okay, so we have here before, after, very good, okay, inseparable, okay. So three parts verbs are always, three part phrasal are always inseparable. So for the three part phrasal verb, three words, you can never separate that one. So we call it inseparable. Okay, so this one. So here, Ben, please find the phrasal verbs in the article. Are they separable or inseparable? Okay, find phrasal verbs. You can find as, in, as many as you can.
<coughs> okay. Uh, I'm just doing it. Okay. Okay. Okay, come up with end up bring it up calling for worked out clean it up run out so the one i underlined red are all phrasal verbs okay break it up and up clean it up work out run out of run out of oil okay so you will have see it means don't have oil anymore so run out of snacks so it means you don't have snacks anymore Okay, you understand? Yeah. Okay. So we have your phrasal verbs. Look after somebody, something, or yourself. Then look down on somebody or something. Look up. Look up to respect. To respect and admire somebody. I can we skip it? Can I skip it? Okay, you want to skip it. So we have here. So which phrasal verbs are two part and which are three part? Okay, answer two part. Two part it means two phrasal verb only. Look after three part three. Very simple. Look down on. Look up. Okay, and look something up. Look up to somebody so it means so these are three parts three and two parts okay separable look something up look after okay so this one so this one quite easy so you have to match the phrasal verb below with the definitions each phrasal verb separate or in separate in separate in separate Okay. Two minutes more. I'm thinking this is...
Oke. Okay. Nah, Hard. Ya. Yeah. Nah, bring something up. Oke, okay, I will give this as homework. Is it okay? Sorry. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so I will give this as homework. I will take a picture. And serve this as your homework. So I'll have another one minute. Okay. Okay, so this one, can you do this? It's hard for you, Ben. Yeah, I have one less than one minute. Okay, less than one minute. Okay. So I will just send this tasks seven and tasks, I mean eight and nine, I will send in vocabulary in the Zalo, okay? Okay. Bye, Ben. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye.